All right, welcome back everybody uh, to another video. This video is going to be hopefully on one that a lot of you tech gurus out there who subscribe to my channel for tech videos will like. Uh, this video is going to be on a gaming computer, not a laptop, a computer. And of all computers, uh, it is one that we purchased from Walmart. The computer in question is a brand which I never heard of until Noah purchased it, uh, which is called, the brand is called iBuyPower. And uh, this particular model is the Y40 Gaming PC. So, <laughs> even though I tried to talk Noah out of getting it, <laughs> what, okay, we went down because he wanted to look at what, Walmart have for gaming PCs, and I was trying to talk him into ordering one online from a well-known uh, name brand computer, right? And uh, no, I said, okay, but I want to go down and look and see what they have at Walmart. So we went down and started looking around, and we saw the PCs that they had sitting there, and Noah ended up getting the one they had on display. Well, not the exact one on display, you know, they don't like to sell their display models. But anyways, I digress. But that's what we're going to get into when we come back. The iBuyPower Y40 Gaming PC. Okay, so I took a lot of notes on this one because I didn't want to get anything wrong on it. I'm sure I'm going to, and if I do, hey, you know, feel free to correct me in the comments below. I don't mind being corrected. Uh, I would rather everybody have the correct information uh, than to have information that, you know, I threw out there that was wrong. So basically what happened was we went down to Walmart because Noah wanted to look at what Walmart had to offer, you know, he didn't really want to wait around for the PC to arrive in the mail. And another reason is because when you purchase something from Walmart, if you purchase their extended warranty, at least everything that I've had to take back, there's no questions asked. Um, you know, if you've got the warranty and you didn't do something deliberately to it, like take a hammer to it, they're going to replace it. At least the Walmart where we live at, they're really good about stuff like that. So anyways, we went down there and they had two PCs. The first PC was, I think, around $9.99. Okay, we are at Walmart. I wanted to show you guys the laptop, or the computer Noah picked up. Now, this is not it, but it. I'm showing you this one because of the RGB lighting. Now, this one here is the uh, iBuyPower. Intel core processor, all right? Uh, now, this one here comes with 16 gigs of DDR5. It does have a graphics card, but the graphics card is the GeForce RTX 3060, which is basically what I have in mine, in my laptop. Of course, these are better. Now, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the one he bought, but this is the one that he picked up right here. But here are the specs. Graphics card, GeForce RTX 4070. It's got an AMD Ryzen 7 series, which is a 7700. 16 gigs of DDR5 RAM, one terabyte NVMe SSD internal storage. Running Windows 11. It's got the RGB backlit keyboard and mouse, and it does come with a backlit keyboard and mouse. And as I told you, I would let you know what I thought about them. So far, wow. Um, we've done a lot of uh, testing with it. I will be showing you guys the testing. Um, you guys can see the, the fans in it. It comes shipped with a big styrofoam block that really supports the video card 
which is great because you don't want that just flopping around during shipping. So you do have to remove that. Um, you do not have to put the computer together. It is completely put together. But there you can see price. That's basically the keyboard setup that you get. And of course the, the mouse that comes with it. Yeah, I can highly recommend them. Get yourself a good monitor. Get yourself at least 156 hertz refresh rate. So, all right, just wanted to bring you guys over and show you, because I can't show it to you in his room. It's just in an area where he has a, where it's set up at. You really can't see it. So, I wanted to show you the case, the keyboard. And I wanted to show you the lighting, but I can't power it up. But it looks basically kind of, the fans look like that. They change colors. You can actually set that, adjust it in the RGB settings. So it's really cool. All right, let's go ahead and get back to the video. And it wasn't a bad PC, and that is actually the one Noah was going to get. And again, it was another iBuyPower, uh, but it was their lower-end PC with, um, with, I guess, an older video card in it. But, I mean, that was the one he was going to get. He was only going to, he didn't want to spend a fortune on it. So, basically, we went over and told the guy which computer we wanted. He went and got the box and brought it out. And uh, started to ring it up. And I, I didn't even notice it. Noah was the one that noticed it. After the sale was complete. He said to me as we were walking away. He said, Pap, you know, I didn't buy the cheaper one. He ended up getting me the other one. And I said, well, <laughs> you paid more for it. And um, I don't know whether or not we actually got it, you know, at the same cost as the 999 Or if we paid the full price for it. But either way... Again, you'll find out. It was worth it. Okay, so along with this PC, we also needed to get a monitor with it, and we looked around for a good monitor. Um, the one they had with it was a pretty nice one. Uh, Noah was actually looking at two different monitors. There was a 28-inch uh, or 30-inch curved monitor, and then they had a, uh, a you know another flat one, and... You know, they were good monitors, but Noah decided that he was going to go with the same brand monitor as his TV and our TV. And we have a 65-inch LG uh, television, a big flat screen, and I'm going to tell you guys what, wow, um, the colors are awesome. I can highly recommend the televisions from LG or Samsung. Um, but the one we got is an LG, and he decided since his was also an LG, he wanted to go ahead and get the PC screen to match, okay? So, basically, again, it is an iBuyPower Y40, and the Y40 is like their package deal. You know, they, they like to package a bunch of uh, stuff together into certain size packages. You have your really big one. I think that's the Y60 or the Y80, and then you have the Y40, and they just came out with the Y40, and it's basically a mid-sized tower, but it's got a lot of room in it, and it's crazy because I have the specs wrote down here, but uh, as I was going over it, I actually pulled it up online. These are actually liquid cold as well, which uh, I didn't know at first, but then I started looking in it and noticed that the cooler and fan that sits on top the block that sits on top of the processor it yeah it had it has pipes going into it with cooling liquid uh, i'm not so sure if i'm a big fan of that but um from everything i've seen so far liquid cooling is the way to go now it is a, a ryzen 7 7700 
Uh, it does come with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 with 12 gigabytes of its own GDDRX6 RAM. It also comes with 16 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. Uh, we upgraded that to 64 gigabytes just because he wanted to have the most <laughs> that he could have. And let me tell you guys what, I can highly recommend upgrading the RAM. The benchmarks that I'm going to show you in here, that was before we put the RAM in it. We actually just upgraded the RAM like a couple weeks ago. And wow, <laughs> um, he loved the PC before. But now with the upgraded RAM, it's just crazy, crazy fast. It's, it, yeah.
Uh, it does come with a one terabyte NVMe SSD as far as your main storage. Uh, so it's a very fast drive, liquid cooled, uh, RGB, running Windows 11 Home, 64 bit. And of course, the model number is Y40BA7N4701. Now, one of, the, one of the things I wanted to bring up about this, um, because it is kind of important is they are building these PCs I buy power you know are building these PCs so obviously they're getting the components from somewhere else I, I think that they're Acer motherboards or a Asus motherboards I, I forget but maybe I'll put that down here somewhere for you guys or I'll put it in the comment section below uh, but where they get their cases from are HYTE or height and of all the research I've done on those cases, I've heard nothing but good. Now, I have obviously seen a few videos of some people that said, well, they cut some corners here and they cut corners there. Guys, you're never going to get everybody on board 100% with everything. And I've told you in the past, if I purchased something even out of my own pocket and there was something wrong with it, I'd tell you. But so far, I can't find any reason that anybody wouldn't like this case. It looks like there's plenty of room for the video card, and it's a big video card. I mean, it's got three cooling fans on it. It takes up pretty much the whole bottom half of the PC. But, I mean, there's plenty of room for expansion. I don't see any reason why we couldn't put, you know, a, a sound card in it, you know, or, or whatever, because there's plenty of room. Now, this height Y40 case, it's basically a mid-sized tower. It's got removable tempered glass, not plastic, panels on it. So you can remove both front and back panels. And as I said earlier, these cases have been getting a ton of respect in the PC world. From people who actually build their own systems, uh, they have been uh, purchasing these cases for their builds and again haven't had any issues with them they're made of quality components uh, a lot of attention to detail goes into making sure that say your wiring can be done properly and hidden i mean just again they they went above and beyond to make sure that everything would fit into the space they allowed and make it look good the cooling the, the way this thing cools is outstanding I think I wrote it down here somewhere about uh, plenty of cooling fans. It pulls air in from the bottom. It's got like a three-inch area in the bottom with fans, two fans, that pull air in through up across the video card and then back across the motherboard toward the back and then up and then out the back through the power supply area. Um, so it has like one, two, three, uh, three big fans inside one on top, I don't know, I think I counted it, uh, I think it's either six or seven fans on the inside of it, again, RGB, every, all the fans are lit up, so that makes it cool, again, I'm going to be putting in B-roll so you guys can see it, and you're not just staring at my ugly mug, I tried to take as much B-roll of it as I could, but again, with it being in Noah's room and him using it all the time, uh, he doesn't set his system up like, you know, Tower on the desk, monitor on the desk, keyboard, all that. No, his tower is under his desk, and, you know, to video it, it's it's just in a strange spot. So, again, I just took B-roll of it so you guys could see it. Uh, now, um, I wanted to go ahead and get into the monitor on this. The monitor, again, is an LG monitor, and I've said in the past, monitors from LG and Samsung are outstanding. Um, I haven't owned a Samsung monitor i've only had lg but i can attest to them being just super 
high quality monitors. Now, it is only a 1080p monitor. It's not a 4K monitor. But Noah didn't want a 4K. Uh, he was specifically looking for 1080p because he wanted to get higher refresh rates so he could run his games at higher speeds. Uh, this is a 156 gigahertz LCD panel. Uh, this is a traditional flat screen monitor uh, with rich colors and uh, very high brightness settings. Trust me, very high brightness settings. I've seen some of the ones out in the market where they don't go very bright at all. And when they do, they get all washed out. This one doesn't do that. The, the blacks are really vivid. For it being an LCD monitor, you know, um, guys, I like the monitors like I have on my laptop uh, just because the blacks are much blacker and, you know, but LCD is still good, uh, especially the newer monitors that they have out today because they've just, well, they've just done a ton of work with it and I think they're doing great. I can tell you that the monitor he has looks awesome and I, I don't know if it's going to show through uh, as well because I you know I actually used my uh, Panasonic to video record the tests that we did on it so you'll be able to see what it looks like you know through the Panasonic which again the Panasonic does keep colors pretty natural again I talked about no was going to go with the curved screen but decided to go to flat screen instead I think he made a good choice with that okay last but not least I did install and use DaVinci Resolve because I wanted to test it as, you know, to see if it would do what I do on my laptop. And wow, um, there's a massive difference <laughs> between using my laptop, which has a, you know, has a 3060 video card in it. And my laptop was made for, you know, video editing, 4K video editing. Um, but I wanted to try it on his. I wanted to see what it would be like. And, um, wow, uh, again, DaVinci flew through without any problems at all. And, again, so does my laptop. But where I really noticed the difference was in rendering. So when you're all done with your editing and you go to hit build, that is when the computer really, really has to use up a lot of its resources. On my laptop, the fans kick on high speed, and I mean, it's it's the heat starts going up. Uh, I've actually got to prop my laptop up so that the air can circulate underneath. If I don't, it will get pretty hot. That thing rendered it in at least half the time, maybe even a third of the time it would have taken to do it on my laptop. It's a nice PC package, and uh, again, when I say package, I do mean a package. What you get is you get the PC, uh, you get an RGB keyboard, so it does have RGB coloring in it. You have to get, you have to use the app that is on the system in order to change the colors on it. Uh, Noah likes it just red, and a nice thing about the keyboard on it, uh, I mentioned it on my laptop. Some of the real small fine print on the numbers, like like your little Wi-Fi symbol and um, the sleep symbol on the very top row, they don't light up. All you see is uh, F1, F2. They light up, but the other little lettering doesn't light up. On his, they do light up. That makes a big difference, especially at night when you're gaming and you need to see that. You don't have to, you know, turn the lights on or, you know, get your back out, you know, so you can see it. It lights up. It works. And it looks good. Oh, yeah. Uh, that monitor that we got for it, that was a 28-inch monitor. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that. But he decided just to go with a 28-inch monitor. Uh, I think I went over basically everything that I can go over. I can't think of anything else. Um, can I recommend uh, this PC? Absolutely. Wow. Again, I tried to actually talk Noah out of purchasing it. Um, I said, you know, Noah, you, you can get, at least you can go there. You can look at what you want. And uh, that way, you know, when you get online, what you want to put on the PC that you're going to order or make sure 
that the one you're going to order has all this or all these features in it. And he said, no, I'm going to get it here. I want it now. I'm going to get the warranty with it. Walmart's warranties are really good. And so he did. And I thought, well, this is going to be <laughs> uh, an interesting video. And the video took me a while to make because I wanted to give it time to see if we started having any issues with it. Now, he's had this computer now for, I think it's going on three months. Um, yeah, yeah, about three months. And he's been gaming every single day on it. What I'm trying to say is he uses it every single day to game on. Every single day. And in the earlier days, it was all day long. On weekends when he has off from work, you know, he games all the time on it. And he doesn't have any issues at all with it overheating, with anything, with it crashing on him. It's got good, strong Wi-Fi. Um, yeah, I can't find anything wrong with it. If, if there was one thing that I would say, maybe that I would change if it was me, would maybe to be, uh, I would I, I would have went with the larger tower. Um, only because it gives you a little more room to do more expansion with it, and it gives you a little more room to allow more airflow for greater cooling. But with that said, I mean, that's pretty much it. Again, I can't think of anything else to bring up about this PC. Again, uh, I buy power. You did an awesome job with this, and I can highly recommend them. Um, I don't know much about the cheaper version that they have down there, the more budget-minded one for $9.99. Uh, but if it is anything like the one that he got, again, I can highly, highly recommend it. I did want to bring up also that this, again, which I mentioned earlier, uses the Ryzen uh, CPU as opposed to the Intel CPU. And I've said it in the past that I think if you're going to game, you want to go with Ryzen. Uh, I think Ryzen has an edge up on Intel over, um, you know, just better performances, you know, just all around. And especially with the Ryzen 7 series, uh, I think they've done great things with that. And I can attest to it with this. Again, I, I think I brought it up in one of the videos I did when I was talking about my laptop that I would love to get a gaming laptop or build my own system and run a Ryzen CPU in it. Well, this one's got that, and we are not dissatisfied with it. Absolutely 100% satisfied. <laughs> Again, highly recommend it. Okay, I also want to bring up that on an upcoming video, hopefully the next one, I'm going to be doing a review on the uh, Potensic uh, Atom SE. And the SE is their upgraded version drone. Uh, this is, again, a drone kind of like my DJI Mavic Mini that I have. Um, it is just under that weight category where you do not have to have a drone pilot's license in order to fly it. But all of the cheaper versions on the market, because the DJI is like 500 bucks if you get um, the package deal that comes with the carrying case, the uh, fast charger, well not fast charger, but it's a charging system that takes three up to three batteries and it charges each one at their own rate and one at a, you know, it's, it's just a nice system. But if you're gonna get the DJI Mini Mavic, the DJI Mavic Mini, uh, I think the newest one is the Mavic Mini 2 or 3, might be the 2. But if you're gonna get one, get the whole package. Um, but anyways, again, it's so hard to find something like it. Well, I found it. Right here. And we are going to review it. So far, I am very, very impressed. 4K. The Mavic Mini is only 2.7. This is 4K. Image stabilization. The whole nine yards. So anyways, we're going to do a video on this later too. So be looking for that. Okay, I've kept you guys way too long as it is. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope those of you uh, out there who have really wanted me to push out more videos with 
the tech you guys like will enjoy this video. I enjoyed doing it. Um, again, like I said, I was very surprised that it was as good as it was. But again, I can highly recommend it. So, that's it. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching, and I will see you all on the next one.